Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome back to some more automation and of course BeamNG Drive. So today we are building the safest car ever. Some companies like Volvo have things like airbags in their cars or fancy things like radar cruise control or, or lane departure warning. Those fancy things don't actually matter. They don't make the car safer, okay? They make the car more dangerous. So what we're doing today is making the real safest car ever. And so the only thing that matters with safety is weight. No, really, the only thing that actually matters in safety really is weight, at least in automation. That's how that works. So what we're doing is making a very, very heavy car. And it's not going to be safe for pedestrians, but you know what? The pedestrians aren't buying the car, so they don't matter. It's fine. So we're going to build the safest car in automation, then drive it in Beam and G Drive and see really how safe it is. Uh, let's get started here. So steel panel material, because you need that to be safe. Steel is, is safe. Nothing is more safe than cold, hard steel. Next up, the chassis type. Now, you might be thinking that something like a monocoque might be actually quite safe because it's what pretty much most cars use today but actually light truck monocoque is safer i know crazy right next up uh not light ahs steel just regular ahs steel is actually safer than anything else here front mounted longitudinal double wishbone up front and it's gonna have i think multi-link in the rear minus 15 on the body quality there to add some more weight i mean safety so it's gonna be a v16 all cast iron dual over red cam five valve per cylinder v16 21.7 liters so it's uh it's chonky it's pretty big next up now this is an important one okay so you're gonna go for cast iron crank then heavy duty cast con rods and heavy duty cast pistons and we're gonna go for i think like plus five let's go for plus 10 compression let's go for 35 cam profile it's gonna be twin turbo obviously we're gonna go for a performance we're going for a performance preset and it's gonna be the biggest inter intercooler possible just to add some more weight obviously uh this will be minus 15 quality to add weight direct injection twin it's going to be standard, and we'll go for ultimate. And we'll go for dual exhaust, the largest exhaust possible, and just the heaviest of everything. Okay, so right off the bat here, it's got 1,100 horsepower and a 1,300 pound-feet of torque. We can increase this a little bit higher, because honestly, we need more power. More power is also quite a bit important with this thing. So it's got 85 ignition timing. The red line is 6,000 RPM. Next up is body quality. Now we want to change this to minus 15 because that's going to add weight and more weight equals more safety. That is the motto of the day, guys. Just remember, more weight equals more safety. Uh, next up, we got to go choose the body here. Let's go with the drivetrain. It's going to be four by four because that adds the most weight and weight equals safety. Come on, we're, we're getting it now, guys. Okay, automatic advanced transmission. It's going to be, uh, wow, it can go 324 kilometers an hour. Yeah, though this thing definitely cannot go that fast but you know what I, I like the opt oh oh god what is this what is that so minus 15 quality here to add some more weight wheels this is an important one it's very important it doesn't actually matter what compound we choose we can go for sports compound or semi slicks just for fun but all that matters is the widest tire possible and also very large tire diameter now this is gonna add weight obviously and that's very important guys because weight equals safety and we're, we're getting somewhere so biggest brakes possible obviously on uh, this minus 15 because that equals more safety downforce under a tray cooling flaps uh minus 15 quality we're gonna go for it's actually have to, it actually has to be a thick seater because that's the safest configuration uh we'll go for plus 15 this is the one of the only plus 15 qualities because it actually uh, decreases the weight but in this case it adds more safety to offset that Variable hydraulic power steering, plus 15 quality, and an advanced 20 safety. And it needs hydro pneumatic suspension. It's got 378 safety, which seems pretty decent to be honest, but is not the best. And we want plus 15 quality actually on the body, because that actually adds more weight than it costs us. So it weighs 25,000 pounds, which is not terrible. And we're under 400 safety, which is not what we want. We want more safety. It needs to have something different though. It needs to have solid axles, because that's going to add more safety. And I think we can go for solid axle leafs as well. Oh God, look at that graph. <laughs> guys, guys, look. A 100 kilometers an hour to zero in 5,008 feet. I kind of want to test that now. I kind of want to test that. Is that realistic? I don't know. But it does get a really good negative 0, 0.0 sportiness. It gets, it's not bad. That's not bad. It gets 1.8 MPG, which is not terrible. It gets zero liability, which is not good. Uh, the tires blow out, which is not great. Um... It does stop now in 13,975 feet. Interesting. Okay, this thing costs $6.6 .6 million, so it's probably not really a production car. It's probably more of a design exercise. This is a car that Volvo is probably uh, debuting at their New York Auto Show, obviously, because this thing is so safe, and Volvo likes to be safe. 
So I think what we're going to do is design this car in a time lapse and then we're going to hop into Beeman G Drive and drive this car. I don't think it's it, if this thing is good, I will eat my own shoes, but this thing is not going to be good. OK, this thing is going to be absolutely terrible. So sit back, relax, guys, and I hope you enjoy. All right, guys, so we're starting the build for the safest car ever in automation. I want to start off with these sort of quad headlamps, similar to all my Maven sort of heavy duty vehicles, adding these uh, dual air intakes up top with a grill that goes across from one side of the headlights to the other, adding these sort of bars that I take away really quick because I don't like how they look. I add some detail to the top of the hood, and I'm just sort of tweaking the actual grill itself of the car, adding a bit more detail here or there, adding some bars that go across the grill, just adding some detail to make the grill look a little more, you know, 3D and a little bit less flat. I did change the headlights to uh, just projectors instead of having quad projectors i am adding a big old bumper on the bottom this thing's got to be kind of realistic it needs a big old bumper and a sort of a brush bar up top adding some detail to the front end now i'm working on custom 3d tires because the stock wheels look ugly and i want to add my own 3d tires just for the photo and stuff but i do take them off after the time lapse adding some custom rims in there as well this thing is going to be an off-roader obviously but it's going to be a heavy duty sort of very safe off-roader at the same time we added some side steps we're adding some turn signals to the front we did add some mirrors and some roof rails as well i just tweaked the lights and i'm tweaking the front grille just a little bit more now working on a skid plate for the front and working on some details for the side uh looking at some hinges looking at the back adding maybe some stuff on the back uh, like a spare tire etc but I just add this sort of ladder to the back instead and just give it a big old bumper uh, instead of having some sort of off-road bumper just a normal style bumper with dual exhaust adding these very basic taillights that I don't even change because they look just perfectly fine I wanted to add a little bit of fender flares because this thing's gonna look a little cooler so fender flares have been added on adding a snorkel and adding some gas cans on the side of the vehicle obviously you got to carry all that gasoline or whatever you're hauling it could be water could be gasoline could be milk for the paint job itself, I did change the green, and I did change the turret signals a bit more, and finishing off the front grille, making it a little bit more blacked out. On the roof itself, I do want to add uh, some sort of light bar up top, so I do work on that by adding some 3D fixtures on there as well, and adding some lights just to sort of stick in there. It's got these quad headlamps up top, and in front of us is the 2020 Maven Titan Concept S. All right, guys, so like I said, this is the Maven Titan Concept S. It is the safest car in existence. Uh, only for the driver, though. I mean, the passengers, too, but not for the pedestrians, because this thing weighs, again, 26,000 pounds. It has 2,094 horsepower, which is a lot. I, uh, there is an issue with the tires blowing out, which I don't know if they will in BMG, but I'll fix it so it works in BMG properly. But let's go over the design real quick. So it is an off-roader, and it is actually styled after one of my previous vehicles, which is also called the Maven Titan, and that was the most reliable vehicle ever. Now this is... Uh, a better interpretation of that. It's more off-roady, it's more tough, it's more better looking than ever before. And of course, it's very safe, which is very important, okay? You know what? Because nothing says safety like 25,000 pounds of pure American steel. Nothing says safety like 2,000 horsepower. Nothing says safety like tires that'll completely crush your newborn child very easily. And safety is the game today. So, uh, design. It's got this massive, you know, front end, obviously, with these, you know, circle headlights. We got these square turd signals. We have a sort of cross thatch style grill in the middle the little maven m badge there we have our big push bar we have our skid plate we got these big fake tires that aren't actually real tires the real tires are up there these ones are down here our snouts in the front we've got our snorkel on the side we've got our roof rails on the roof if you want to attach things in the roof like roof things it's got these steps on the side honestly the steps are still quite high you'd have to probably jump up to them anyways the back end, quite simply, got these massive dual exhausts. We got a tow hitch because we're going to tow some stuff in Beam and G Drive. We got a ladder. We got one door handle because only this one door is probably going to open. And that's pretty much it, honestly. There's not much to it. Now, you might be thinking, you know, Rai, if this is the safest car ever, why is there, like, gas cans on the side? You know what? These aren't gas cans. These are safety cans, okay? Maybe there's, like, safety stuff in there, like safety gasoline or other safety materials. Because, you know what? Gasoline can be safe, probably. I'm not an expert. I'm not a doctor. But gasoline probably can be safe. We'll do a few things to see how the Titan Concept S does. So, I'll see you guys in BMG Drive in just a sec. 
All right, guys, so we are here in BMG Drod with the Titan Concept S. Uh, S for safety, obviously. This is the safest car ever. Uh, we are just in the industrial map, just sort of relaxing, just, just relaxing, taking a look at the car real quick. Car looks fine. Everything's all good. Uh, a couple of things I want to point out. Um, so the car, I did add a manual locking differential, uh, and it's obviously a four-wheel drive vehicle, so we've got a high and low. We've got our locking front and rear diffs. One thing I wanted to point out, though, is the car right now is on. We can rev it, and it drives fine, right? So that's all fine. If we put the car into low range and then rev it. You know, I'm not sure why that is. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's definitely a weird issue. We're going to stay uh, in, not in low range because that's terrible. And we're just going to drive around and uh, see how this thing is. There are some cars driving around on the map and we're, we're going to see how safe it is in comparison to them. The tire list is kind of loud though. So we're going to go for a bit of a drive here. There are some cars driving around and it, it drives okay. The car, the tire noise is super loud. Just listen to that. <laughs> the car is actually perfectly fine. We just drove into a concrete barricade at 170 kilometers and 160 kilometers an hour. We drove right into it. And the car is perfectly fine. I mean, the pole is, is through the body, but like, the body's not damaged. And the car is stuck. Look at that. I would say that is pretty much perfectly fine. Like a time trial, that's fine. Wow, I was actually hitting the full brakes there and it didn't stop at all. <laughs> Somehow this car is just really bad. So what I'm finding out is the safest car ever is absolutely terrible to drive. No, come here, come here. Let me get in a traffic accident with you, please. Please, officer. Oh, wow, you guys are driving the wrong... What are you doing? Get out of my way. I'm going after this Jeep up ahead. So what I've learned is this car has no brakes at all. It can barely turn. It's unreliable. But it's safe. And as we're going to test right here, it's pretty safe. See? Nothing but safety. We can't stop. Oh god, we can't stop. Hit the bull, hit the bull. Oh my god. That jeep is not walking away from that. This is what safety is. This is safe, okay? Safety is driving over the car in front of you and not even noticing. It's like a speed bump. It's like a speed bump, except we don't even feel it because this thing is an absolute tank. My gosh, this thing, I didn't even feel it, actually. Like 117 kilometers an hour. But, we are still pretty much 100% intact. You know what? We need to take this thing on the jump arena. I want to see if this thing gets destroyed in the jump arena. We're going to jump this thing, and then I want to do, like, maybe a short track test. We're going to do a jump arena, then a track test. All right, guys, finally in the jump arena with the Titan. And this thing, I think it's going to do pretty well. We've got in a high range. We have the ESC off. We're just going to drive it into the jump. Uh, I'm going to try to steer it and try to crash if we can, because this thing, um... It's heavy, and we, we gotta control this thing and see where it goes. We, we wanna destroy it, is the goal. So, 200 or so kilometers an hour, 210. The engine is gonna blow soon. 220. That's not bad. We're gonna, we're gonna turn. We're gonna turn. Can we crash it? Well, this thing is flying really straight, actually. Can we crash it at least? Into the wall? That was like a 240 kilometer an hour crash. Okay, whoa, whoa. That shape. What, what did we do to this thing? Oh no, my, my sweet, sweet baby boy. <laughs> it's so bad. I love it. I love it. Okay. I, uh, I think this car is actually really safe. The tires are like even the the car itself is actually quite quite well intact. Does the car drive still? No, the engine's gone. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's do one short off road circuit and, and see what this does there because it drives absolutely terribly. But we've proven that I think this thing is very, very safe. This is the Utah River Rally Course, and that sounds like a good idea because this thing has off-road tires, obviously, it's going to have a lot of traction, but I think you'd be wrong. This thing has no grip whatsoever, even with zero quality tires, so not negative 15. Uh, it has negative 15 on the transmission, so it's going to probably explode in our face, uh, and that's pretty much all there is to it, and there's no brakes either, so let's just do no ESC. Let's do locking diffs, though. 
And let's keep it four-wheel drive for a second here. We might switch it to rear. Because that'll probably help us out. Uh, we're, we are just gonna go send it pretty much into this into this track here. Okay, it's gripping okay in the dirt. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, we're going this way. We're going that way. We're going this way. Oh my gosh! The tires didn't even explode or anything! That is actually pretty surprising. That is that is genuinely surprising. Okay, the uh, we gotta be a little careful here. The, the transmission is having problems. But accelerating at low speeds. But yeah, we absolutely smashed those rocks and we didn't destroy anything. Oh, this is not this is gonna be tight. That's tight, that's tight. Okay, we're good. If only this thing was like, you know, a fine driving car, then actually I think people would buy this thing. You know? The engine's damaged though, which is like, you know, probably not the most ideal situation, but this car is safe. The passenger's inside, and the driver is obviously very safe. I'm not sure about any other pedestrians, because they'd be absolutely obliterated, but that's fine. Thing is, we absolutely demolished over those rocks, and we had no problem whatsoever, which is a shock. Under 230 is very... Res it's probably my best time because I only have one other time, but still. Like, 230 versus um, another vehicle, which I have no idea what it is, but I'm assuming it's probably meant for the rally course. So, take that as... you know. Wait, this was done January 2nd, 2020. This car was done almost a year ago. Is it the last... This is definitely not the last time I tried this track. I've done this track more, to be honest. That's crazy. But, uh, you know what? 230, we'll take it. Uh, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad, to be honest. Uh, the car drives terribly, awfully, so I, I don't know why you'd ever want to drive this car, but I'll leave a link to download it down below if you guys want to check it out. Uh, before we finish off, though, I want to give a huge shout-out to my channel members. These are people who have went above and beyond to support the channel. I'll leave a link down below on how to support the channel as well if you guys want to become a member. Uh, big shout-out to Ruben for being a big boy turbo member. Uh, thanks to Chatherson and DD Man for being quad turbo members. Thanks to my twin turbo members, and thanks to everyone else as well. You guys are awesome, and I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we'll finish off here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and of course, as always, I'll see you guys next time.